No matter how competent a person is, they will not have sustained and lasting success unless they can effectively lead themselves, influence, engage and collaborate with others, and continuously improve and renew their capabilities. These elements are at the heart of personal, team and organizational effectiveness. What sets successful people apart from the rest of us? Well, it often comes down to their habits. In this video, we'll explore the top 10 habits that successful individuals swear by. So, grab your notepads and let's get started. Number 1. Be proactive. Be proactive is about taking responsibility for your life. Proactive people recognize that they are response-able. They don't blame circumstances, conditions or conditioning for their behavior. They know they can choose their behavior. Reactive people, on the other hand, are often affected by their physical environment. They find external sources to blame for their behavior. If the weather is good, they feel good. If it isn't, it affects their attitude and performance, and they blame the weather. All these external forces act as stimuli that we respond to. Between the stimulus and the response is our greatest power. We have the freedom to choose our response. One of the most important things we choose is what we say. Our language is a good indicator of how we see ourselves. Number 2. Begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind is based on imagination, the ability to envision in your mind what you cannot at present see with your eyes. It is based on the principle that all things are created twice. There is a mental, first creation, and a physical, second creation. The physical creation follows the mental, just as a building follows a blueprint. If you don't make a conscious effort to visualize who you are and what you want in life, then you empower other people and circumstances to shape you and your life by default. It's about connecting again with your uniqueness and then defining the personal, moral and ethical guidelines within which you can most happily express and fulfill yourself. One of the best ways to incorporate Habit 2 into your life is to develop a personal mission statement. It focuses on what you want to be and do. It is your plan for success. It reaffirms who you are, puts your goals in focus, and moves your ideas into the real world. Your mission statement makes you the leader of your own life. You create your destiny and secure the future you envision. Number 3. Put first things first. This habit is where habits 1 and 2 come together. It happens day in and day out, moment by moment. It deals with many of the questions addressed around time management. But that's not all. Habit 3 is about life management as well. Your purpose, values, roles and priorities. What are first things? First things are those things you find of most worth. If you put first things first, you are organizing and managing time and events according to the personal priorities you established in Habit 2. Number 4. Think win-win. Think win-win isn't about being nice, nor is it a quick-fix technique. It is a character-based code for human interaction and collaboration. Most of us learn to base our self-worth on comparisons and competition. We think about succeeding in terms of someone else failing. If I win, you lose. Or if you win. I lose. Life becomes a zero-sum game. There is only so much pie to go around, and if you get a big piece, there is less for me. It's not fair, and I'm going to make sure you don't get any more. We all play the game, but how much fun is it really? Win-Win sees life as a cooperative arena, not a competitive one. Win-Win is a frame of mind and heart that constantly seeks mutual benefit in all human interactions. Win-win means agreements or solutions are mutually beneficial and satisfying. We both get to eat the pie, and it tastes pretty darn good. Number 5. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Communication is the most important skill in life. You spend years learning how to read, write, and speak. But what about listening? What training have you had that enables you to listen so you really deeply understand another human being? Probably none, right? You might be saying, hey, wait a minute, I'm just trying to relate to the person by drawing on my own experiences. Is that so bad? In some situations, autobiographical responses may be appropriate, such as when another person specifically asks for help from your point of view, or when there is already a very high level of trust in the relationship. Number 6. Synergize. It is teamwork, 
open-mindedness, and the adventure of finding new solutions to old problems. But it doesn't happen on its own. It's a process, and through that process, people bring all their personal experience and expertise to the table. Valuing differences is what really drives synergy. Do you truly value the mental, emotional, and psychological differences among people? Or do you wish everyone would just agree with you so you could all get along? Many people mistake uniformity for unity and sameness for oneness. One word, boring. Differences should be seen as strengths, not weaknesses. They add zest to life. Number seven, sharpen the saw. Sharpen the saw means preserving and enhancing the greatest asset you have, you. It means having a balanced program for self-renewal in the four areas of your life, physical, social, emotional, mental, and spiritual. As you renew yourself in each of the four areas, you create growth and change in your life. Sharpen the saw keeps you fresh so you can continue to practice the other six habits. You increase your capacity to produce and handle the challenges around you. Without this renewal, the body becomes weak, the mind mechanical, the emotions raw, the spirit insensitive, and the person selfish. Not a pretty picture, is it? You can pamper yourself mentally and spiritually, or you can go through life oblivious to your well-being. You can experience vibrant energy, or you can procrastinate and miss out on the benefits of good health and exercise. You can revitalize yourself and face a new day in peace and harmony. Or you can wake up in the morning full of apathy because your get up and go has got up and gone. Every day provides a new opportunity for renewal, a new opportunity to recharge yourself instead of hitting the wall. All it takes is the desire, knowledge, and skill. Remember, success is a journey, not a destination. Which of these habits resonates with you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our future content.